Hi, I'm Kevin from Kitronic. I'd like to tell you a little bit more about the Robot 3D Printer, which is a new 3D printer that we've just added to our range. It works by layering a layer of plastic and then layering another layer of plastic on top of that layer and another layer of plastic on top of the layer after. And eventually it builds up to produce this 3D printed object. Now the quality of the final object is determined by the thickness of those layers. The robots, you can choose a variety of layer thicknesses. The lowest and smallest layer that is achievable is an incredible 20 microns. One of the things we felt set this printer apart from other printers was the quality of its design and construction. It's got a steel case, it's very well designed, and the manufacturing to us appears to be fantastic. It's also got this closing lid. Now we felt a closing lid was essential for a printer that was going to be used by young children or within education. During the print process, this lid locks into place. Now this is important because the bed itself and the print head can get extremely hot. The other benefit of the locking case is that the, the print is protected from things like drafts. So, you know, if someone opened the door and you had a cold draft, that cold draft wouldn't affect the printing process. The size of object that the robots can produce is determined by its print volume. This is the area within the printer that can be used to produce a 3D printed object. This is determined by the bed size and the height to which the printer can print. The robots can print objects of a size of 210 millimeters times 150 millimeters times 100 millimeters. Now that's actually quite large and we find that's great for all the objects we've wanted to print. You might want to build larger objects, but we believe you're better to build those out of a number of smaller objects. With 3D printers, the performance of the print bed is crucial to get successful prints. The Robox has a couple of features which make printing with this printer extremely easy. The first thing is that the bed itself auto-levels. You don't have to do this manually, the machine does it for you. The second point is that the bed itself is heated. Um, this is crucial for when printing things like ABS and stops warping of the material. Uh, the Robox, the bed heats extremely quickly, so you can be printing within two to three minutes. An important element to any 3D printer is the print material. Now, the Robox uses what's called a smart reel. So in the back here, we have some connections. So when this reel is put onto the machine, the Robox can detect the type of material that's on that specific reel. Now this is advantageous for a number of reasons. The first is that the different, different materials, such as ABS versus PLA, have different melting temperatures and require a different profile within the machine. Because the reel tells the machine what material type it is, the machine can set it up all for you and you don't have to do anything manually. The other advantage is that it can store information on how much material is left on a reel. So if you're going to print a printout, it can tell you if there's sufficient material and if there's not sufficient material, it can inform you of this before you print. Automaker is the software used to drive the printer. It's a very intuitive interface and has a nice visual look of the machine. You can see that this machine is loaded with um, orange PLA. That's highlighted on the left hand sidebar and it's also visually shown on the machine itself. The top left shows the, uh, a, a colour and this relates to the printer you're controlling. And you can see that the software here shows the light in the machine is also blue. So we have a, a blue, blue robot on the top left hand corner and then the robot itself has a blue light. And which is also seen in the machine itself which has a blue light on. This is because the software can drive a number of robot machines. The, the, con the connection to the machine is via USB. But if you had two or three machines connected, you would have a number of these coloured boxes in the corner. Or they would all be a different colour and the machines themselves would light a different colour. So it's quite obvious when you're doing a print job which machine you are controlling. So this is the status screen. We can then progress into the layout screen. Within the layout screen, this is where we can load objects into the, into the print driver automaker software or into the automaker software. We can move them around on screen. So we could add a number of objects or just one. We can view those objects and we can rotate them so depending upon how we want them to be printed. Automaker is compatible with many operating systems including Linux, Windows and the Mac operating system. This is a speaker case design that has been produced by a company called My Mini Factory. 
My Manufactory is a great website where you can download models to print on your Robox printer. Some of these are free and some you have to pay for. You can do this from within the Automaker software. If you go into the download from cloud, you can then access the My Manufactory from this screen. And that brings me on to the last great feature of the Robox printer. And that is that the printer comes with a two year warranty, which means you have a number of happy years printing without any worries. The Robots 3D printer and filaments are in stock today at Kitronic. You can find more information on this product range at kitronic.co.uk. For more regular updates, why not like us on Facebook or follow us on our Twitter account at Kitronic.